guys, welcome back and happy holidays. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I get this holiday glam makeup look. Um, tonight I'm going to see Miami City Ballet's The Nutcracker, so I figured this was the perfect opportunity to get all glammed out and then film it for you guys so you can see what I do. So yeah, if you like this look and you want to see how I got it, just keep on watching. Thanks. All right, so we're going to start off priming our face. I'm using Smashbox Hydrating Primer because my skin's been a little bit dry lately, so I'm putting that all over. I then go in with Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer in the areas that I need it and blend that all in. Next we have foundation, of course my favorite, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm applying that all over my skin. Now because I am going out tonight, I'm using a little bit more than I normally would, but you know, I'm going to the theater so I gotta look good. And then I'm going to blend everything out with my Max 130 stippling brush. And I'm going to conceal with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. It really does cover any pimples like this little friend I have here or dark spots because it's nice and pigmented. I then use the same type of concealer but in a different color, NW30, right underneath my eyes. Then I take NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard and apply that under my eyes and blend it in with my ring finger. You then have to set your under eye concealer. I'm using NYX HD setting powder. And don't mind the faces I'm about to make because I literally ate the setting powder. Doesn't taste good. I then set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35. Forgot what color I was for a sec. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring with my NYX bronzing powder in deep bronze, applying that just to the hollows of my cheeks, temples, just to warm up my face. Then taking the same product with a pencil brush, I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit around the tip and up on the sides. Highlight time, I am using MAC Superb to highlight the tip of my nose, cupid bow, and cheekbones. Then for blush, I'm using MAC Warm Soul. I love that it's got a real bronzy, pink kind of tone to it. I'm then gonna start on my brows. I start by just brushing them out with my Morphe brush, and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, dip down brow in chocolate. I want a little bit more of a dramatic brow tonight. That's why I'm using the pomade versus a pencil. And once I've got them how I like them, I am going to use my MAC Brow Set in Clear to set everything in place. Moving on to eyes, I'm using MAC's Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, applying it all over my lid, up under my brow bone, and blending it out. So for my shadows today, I'm going to be using this Morphe palette, I believe it's the 350 palette, and I'm going to be using those first two beige colors on my lid. They don't really give you a name, but it's the first two on the left. And 
then the same palette I'm going to be using these medium soft browns to apply to my crease. Now, what I'm trying to show you here is how I hold the brush. How you hold your brush makes a huge difference on how your eyeshadow is applied. If you hold it really close to the tip of the brush, you're going to get more of a heavy hand. If you pull back a little bit and kind of hold right on the end, it's going to go on a lot softer and make it a lot more blended. And for the outer crease of my eye, I'm going to be using the darker shades. Good job, Krista. You didn't get it on camera, but it's the bottom left two shadows. Oh, there we go. And apply that to the outer part of my eye and blend, blend, blend. I'm then going to take Max 224 brush, which is a little bit fluffier brush, and just blend out all of my edges so all the colors kind of blend together real nicely. So I went in again with that darker color. I originally wasn't going to go as smoky or dark, but then I just figured, why not? I'm going to the theater tonight. So I added a little more to the outer corner and blended it up. Then taking a pencil brush with that same dark chocolate color, I'm applying that right under my lash line. Okay, eyeliner. I'm using Inglot's Gel Liner, number 77 in black, and applying it with my favorite Real Techniques brush. Same one as before, it's got that little rubber tip to it. I just love the control that I get with it. It's so much easier for me than using a brush. And of course, I had to do a little bit of a wing because I'm just a wing girl. I love it. I love a good cat eye. And then I do the same thing to the other side. Then take Max Technical Liner in Graph Black and apply that to my waterline and right on the outer corner of my lower lash line. So lucky for me, I've got some awesome lash extensions on right now so I don't have to do top mascara, I just hit the bottom ones. Set everything with Fix Plus Setting Spray and it's on to lips. I am using Max Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Trust in Red to line my lips. Then go in with Max Ruby Woo and apply it to the full center of my lip. So after I had done this, I thought it looked a little too much of a pinky red and I wanted it to be a little more burnt. So I put on Max Viva Glam 1 over top and that gave me more of the color that I was looking for. But then I didn't really have a liner to match it, so I kind of had to use the edge of the lipstick as a liner, which was not fun. Just touch up around the edges, and then once your lips are done, your look is done as well. There you have it, my holiday glam makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be back next week with another video for you guys. Bye!